hope you are doing fine. Uh, welcome to our channel, Joint Hands Green Life Trees. Uh, today we are coming to you from uh, a very distant place, Rosinga Island. And this is Joint Hands Green Life Trees. My name is John Bosco, and with me here is <laughs> Pamela from Joint Hands Green Life Trees. Yeah, it's too hot here. So hot, uh, and it is. Uh, this is a, a semi-arid place, and the sun is scorching. Even though I can see the lake distantly, but uh, the sun here is just so hot. We are here to inspect a fence that had been done before, that uh, came down uh, or is affected in a way is not standing so strong. We are here to inspect it and recommend what is best to be done about it. And the distance to this place was just quite awesome. We, uh, we came all the way from Megori uh, through Rongo, Homa Bay. Then we found our way to Mbita. We crossed over the Mbita Causeway and got onto Rosinga Island. And right now we are standing deep into the the island of Rosinga. So we are in the middle of the lake. Yeah, we right. are we are right <laughs> in the lake zone, yeah. but in, in the island of course. Yeah. And getting here wouldn't have been quite easy. So we got a, a fellow YouTuber who brought us here. I'll introduce him to you. But most importantly is that uh, we got here through uh, one of our subscribers who has been following our channel and uh, this subscriber stays out of the country and uh, requested that we come over and check on their fence and see what is best that we can do about this fence because the subscriber i'm talking about has been following a lot in our channel whatever we've been undertaking and got impressed and felt that we could help in this situation so we are standing in their home uh, our subscriber hasn't been at home for quite a while so i believe seeing us at home makes <laughs> makes them feel at home too mm -hmm. yeah so please feel at home we are at home we've seen mom and we've seen family members uh, we here is uh, some of the livestock the goats are here uh, at least one of them but uh, again to my back there are the sheep but we also have our fellow YouTuber, Richie Richie, through whom we got here. Yeah. Okay, hello guys. Welcome back to Join and Green Life uh, YouTube channel. My name is Richie Richie. Yeah, I'm very, very happy guys to be here today. Uh, because uh, God has a plan uh, today, I'll be here. And today I'm here today, guys. And uh, I'm here with Join and Green Life uh, trees or what would we say yes yes yeah. that is it <laughs> <laughs> joint hand green light trees yeah. um i also want to uh watch out uh, what is going on here and uh, i want i also want to uh, do the job i mean job i do the job too all right yeah so guys if you are watching this video uh, from joints and green life trees uh please subscribe to my youtube channel at richie richie yeah and uh, just to clarify, Rich Rich is, uh, comes from this county, right? Yeah, yeah. This is Homa Bay County. This is Homa yeah. Bay County. So he's at home. Yeah, yeah. he's in the home Yeah, so county. Feel, feel welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So you should be welcoming us. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. Your welcome. You're now our host. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the last time we were together, we were in uh, Nyabohanse. Yeah. is in Migori County. Yeah. This is Homa Bay County. Yeah. Very far from here. Yeah, we've been on the road yeah. since morning. Yeah. And so uh, I promise that I'll be due uh, till you finish the work which we are going to do here. Yeah. 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 So you just feel welcome. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. If Thank you. you see me here, we are together. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be updating you on every undertaking that you'll be seeing here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and we also have got our host who is taking us around, working with us to help us understand uh, the setup of the fence, how it runs through, and 
uh, whatever needs to be understood about it. I'll give you opportunity. You get to know him and and his names and uh, whatever else he might have to say. Um, I'm Moses. I don't have much to say. Only I'm trying, I'll, I'll show them what at least they come to do. Yeah. And to, <laughs> to check at least they are here for the fans. Yeah, 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 we are right. Moses, are you a member of this? Uh... I'm a member of this community. Oh, thank you. And so this is my home. Yes. All right. And I'm the first son, or the eldest son in this. Oh. Home. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Moses. Yeah. We look forward to a good time walking yeah. around. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Okay. Distance, the, the distance between one post and the other is just too far. So it could not withhold uh, the, the chain link. And again, it was not supported with the pump wire. There's also this tree that is uh, making as a very nice canopy, uh, the kind of trees that survive uh, in semi-arid places. Looking so nice, a good shade and, and a good canopy. Yes, so uh, our client's mother, as we told you, also has a kitchen garden. But uh, the weather condition here is uh, a little harsh, that's why uh, her kitchen garden is, doesn't look quite nice. But uh, all the same, she has got some uh, vegetable here. This sometimes is what she harvests uh, as vegetable. And you can also see that uh, she has some drumstick. This is called Moringa. Moringa is a vegetable and also uh, is highly medicinal. So uh, it also helps her around. Now, mostly in this kitchen garden, she has done her best to have purpose. So you can see that uh, uh, the papayas here are doing well, despite this place being uh, a semi-arid. And uh, I think mistakenly, uh, because of not being quite aware, there is also uh, this uh, eucalyptus tree that uh, was planted right in the kitchen garden. This shouldn't have happened, but all the same, it has found its way here and will be making rightful recommendations concerning it because eucalyptus is not ideal for a kitchen garden. And uh, there is also uh, this fruit. It looks like thorn melon. Same same kitchen garden, she has planted bananas and she's watering them. Uh, but as I told you before, water is a challenge here and that's why the kitchen garden isn't doing quite so well. She says it does well in the rainy days, but uh, it beca becomes a great problem in the sunny days like right now. So uh, the bananas are planted here, but not doing so well, but the purples are highly promising. Uh, and even now, uh, this tree here. Mm. I made no So we took a walk all around the fence, trying to inspect each and every post uh, on the fence, and uh, we checked all through. Uh, we realized lots of gaps on what was done before. For instance, uh, if you check on the fence, the space that was. Uh, the, 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 the space that was set between the post and another one uh, was just too wide. It should have been this wide. And again, uh, it is nice that the posts were iron, iron posts. But 
uh, the iron posts were not rightly designed to hold uh, the chain link. That's why, as you can see, the chain link is dripping down yeah, and not standing so strong. And this could go down anytime. We also checked in a few areas where the posts were done, but they never used concrete. So it stands so weak. Actually, in some many places, it is already fallen. And in other areas, they used posts that are uh, not strong enough. They were not cedar posts. Uh, they were ordinary trees that were cut around uh, that were not durable. So as we speak, they are rotten and they can't stand anymore. Uh, also checking on uh, the, 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 the bottom here, you realize that it was not sunk down. So it was left hanging which means anything can easily walk in and out. Uh, it wasn't given the adequate protection. It can, someone can easily lift it and pass through and small animals like goats and dogs can easily pass through uh, and come in. So intrusion is quite easy. The fence is not serving its purpose. But uh, having checked all around, we are going to make the recommendations that are necessary to see that this fence serves the purpose for which it was intended. But if it is left the way it is, it won't be serving any purpose, absolutely. Uh, uh, this is an expensive venture. Whatever went here was a lot of money. But again, that money seemingly, most of it went down the drain. Except for the materials that we can see, the workmanship wasn't quite good. Uh, but again, it is the reason why we are here to just check on it and give recommendations. So the recommendations that we will give to our client include uh, having more posts placed in between uh, the spaces that are just too wide. And in our case, we are going to use concrete to see that the posts stand strong. And as you can see, this one, uh, it should be held by either a wire or a barbed, uh, the barbed wire, the barbed wire or, yeah, or just the post uh, wire. But now, uh, because uh, they, in some areas they used the post wire, in many other areas they never applied any wire, so the, the chain link is just standing loosely. Uh, so that's why it is weak. We are going to make a recommendation on adding more posts, using concrete to establish the posts, and uh, using barbed wire on the posts, so that when we finally have the chain link returned, it will be held strong. And we won't end at that. We will dig a trench to see that uh, the chain link goes down the trench. And in the most ideal situation, we should do a concrete on the chain link down beneath where it sinks. It should be held tight down there by a concrete. But this is one venture that most clients don't go for yeah. because of its cost implications. But if our client won't mind, that is the best thing to do because once the chain link is held down there by concrete, then it becomes more established and nothing can really interfere with it. Among other things that uh, our client wanted us to assist is uh, a, a water a, a water borehole and we walked around and checked the distance from this home despite being in an island the distance from here to the lake is uh, estimating by my own eyes could be about two kilometers and and uh, our client has an aging mother so it becomes really difficult to uh, for her to be fetching water so she has to depend on people who can bring over water and be paid and that becomes a little more expensive and again considering also that uh, the aging uh, parent can doesn't have the energy to walk down uh, the lake it means uh, she can't have adequate water at home because she either has to spend energy or spend money and uh, both are not quite adequate enough to ensure that she has water. But now we are going to recommend the services of a geologist whom we know.
uh, to our clients so that uh, the geologist can come over. He's actually a, a, a geologist and a hydrologist. So when he comes over, he can establish at which point within the homestead uh, where water can easily be found. And then we will uh, also uh, second uh, a person who can dig uh, the borehole. And after digging of the borehole, it will, it will be just so nice to see that uh, there is adequate water. We took time to share with the mother because she is the one uh, at home and we discussed all this with her and uh, what she uh, said was that uh, her greatest problem here is water. So if she can get water then uh, largely most of her problems will have been solved because she will be in a position to manage most of this. Uh, we are glad that we were received in this home. We've had a good time. Uh, I took time to know more about this island from the mother because uh, going by her age, she, she's a library. Yeah, she's a library of history. So I decided to take time to just listen to her stories. It was quite a nice conversation except we didn't co uh, conduct our conversation in English, but I'll get bits of it that I can translate so that uh, we can bring it here on camera. Uh, this island is uh, produced one renowned figure uh, globally. It produced Tom Mboya, Tom Joseph Mboya. Tom Joseph Mboya was a Pan-Africanist and was an economist and was a politician was a great leader in this country, Kenya. And Tom Boyer, uh, associated with great names across the world. Um, uh, J.F. Kennedy, he also interacted with Martin Luther King, among the many other names that I've read in history. And he is famous for airlifting Kenyan students uh, to uh, to to outside world for studies because uh, uh, post-colonial Kenya didn't have adequate graduates, didn't have uh, literacy levels were still down. And so when, uh, when the government needed to hire uh, people to serve, to see that systems were running, uh, the people who could be found were too few. So Tom Boyer, uh, history tells me that uh, he airlifted up to about 800 uh, students from Kenya uh, to the US, to Canada, to UK, and all other institutions across the world. Among the universities were uh, the universities uh, that existed then uh, across the world because it, uh, Africa by then didn't have universities. So he took them to various universities, universities across the world in Canada, in, in the United States. And, and I think uh, that, that story, I'm going to uh, gather more information about Tom Boyer, where he was buried. The mausoleum is not too far away from here. So I'll even create a chance to visit there and get to know more about the same. We had good time and ended up planting a tree because we had carried a tree. We are joint hands green life trees. Yes, yeah, we are trees actually. Yeah, us speak us into us. the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this sun is so much hurting and it's so hot here, but uh, yeah. uh, it, it will be a long as from today. Wherever we go, for uh, any kind of project, we love to plant a tree and nourish the tree, will nurture the tree until the time that we'll be leaving uh, for whatever project that uh, takes us there. As there. So we take care, of, we take care of the tree that we plant in a place yeah. till it reaches the times that we'll be leaving. We'll also be talking to the household members or the family or the parties concerned wherever we'll be working so that they help us in nurturing the particular tree because again we we talk a lot about the trees that we are nurturing and uh, we, we felt it wise to bring it on camera so that every time we are in these activities you can see our trees and how we plant them and, yeah. and their names and, yes, and how we take care of and them how and we also involve the community in taking care of the trees that uh, we may plant for them or yeah. the ones that they be getting from us. Yeah, yes. so again considering that Rosinga is semi-arid uh, it is not arid per se, it is semi-arid. Uh, considering that it is semi-arid, we saw the need to even increase the tree 
cover for this. Uh, so for today, we, we will uh, leave two trees uh, in Rusinga Island, one tree in this particular home, and there is a tree that as we pass through uh, where uh, the late uh, Tom Boyer was buried, we're gonna plant another tree there and also talk to the people there concerning trees and the need to increase tree cover here. Yeah, so. And uh, it was so great uh, um, interacting with the, the, the lady. Yeah. Uh, she's so much enlightened, she knows a lot of English and a lot of Kiswahili. Yeah. And that's what makes me proud to be to interact with uh, these ladies, especially the ones that are coming from near the, the lake region. Yeah. One thing is uh, common with them that uh, they always, uh, uh, from the lake region you get, uh, most people are uh, well educated. Especially in yes. Rusinga Island, uh, even the kind of homes that we are seeing here yeah. are a replica of uh, the same history that yes, you can of, just of Tom Boyer. No, they are far apart, but... Uh, yeah. They are nice homes. There are no shanties here. There are no. Uh, there are no shacks here. Uh, they've really tried to have permanent houses here, despite the ugly uh, climate here. The climate is not quite friendly, yeah. and also uh, this island has produced big names. And also, uh, you know, it is uh, surrounded by Lake Victoria, so it has some good uh, ambience. As I look into the lake from where I'm standing looks really beautiful. Yes. Uh, so we are looking forward to updating you a lot more on what we will undertake here based on if our client will buy the idea that we're going to give because we're trying to check around it. Uh, you can see that it is bushes all around the fence if you check here. So the whole work should start from clearing the bush and after clearing the bush uh, we, we need to bring down the chain link bringing down the chain link we need to do holes afresh for uh, for the posts that you'll bring and also some of these posts that you see some of them actually most of them were not done using concrete so they are just so weak uh, as you shake you see, you, you see that it is a post that could go down anytime so uh, such posts will have to be removed and be uh, be done afresh and afterwards uh, we will have to work uh, on again a barbed wire very necessary some strands of the barbed wire at least four so that those four will help to hold the chain link and and we'll also ensure that the chain link is dug down and if our client will will wish we will have the chain link buried down underground uh, so that it is anchored but if and using concrete but if our client will feel that the concrete could be too expensive we can still return back the same soil but uh, you know cheap is also expensive of course that yes, is again you can, another uh, decide to take the cheaper direction but in the long run it becomes expensive like now you can see here yeah. we are going to put down everything yeah this has to but be brought good, down but it's good but that we are going to recover some material that will be reused yeah yeah so cheap is expensive yeah most of the materials will be reused but uh, not all entirely and uh, so uh, yes sometimes resources might be just so mega so so hard to come by in such a case we will just bury the chain link using soil but the best thing to go for is uh, to do uh, to do a, a, a what a concrete that anchors the chain link because you know this soil is also very loose it's uh, stony yeah, it is stony and a lot uh, somehow sandy yeah, yeah. But, uh, but 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 the fence can we'll still weigh. be worked on. We'll we'll weigh out what is most workable, and we are hoping to do the best task. Uh, finally, uh, finally, I think we've I think we've highlighted nearly everything that you would have wished to hear from us. Uh, we appreciate you for always staying tuned to our channel, Joint Hands Green Life Trees, and uh, Richie Richie is here with us. Uh, onto this island yeah. and it has just been nice uh, moving around with him uh, at one point he was assisting us to, to, to plant the tree at another point he's been our cameraman and uh, and also interacting with him here and there yeah. so I'll give him a chance to talk before I just summarize the video yeah hello guys uh, I welcome you back again to 
joint hand green life trees. Uh, it is a very very fine day uh, that God has for, for provided for us today. And uh, I say thank you for the uh, subscribers who support us, stand with us uh, every time. And uh, may God bless you wherever you are. So, uh, what I can tell you, uh, uh, my fellow YouTubers here, Joint Hand Green Life uh, Trees, uh, you just feel at home. If you are here in Rusinga Highland, you are, uh, you are at home. Yeah, so just thank feel you. at home. Uh, I'll be with you everywhere till you. you back there thank and uh, for the new uh, subscribers who are watching this video for the first time or uh, subscribers who sing me uh, for the first time in this channel i have a youtube channel and uh, you just go there to youtube uh, search there richie richie um richie richie 3089 yeah so that you can find me uh, richie very, richie 3089 yes yeah you right there rich rich 389 you will get me you subscribe you support me you subscribe there uh, my youtube channel you like the video share and you comment yeah may i say thank you and feel at home here is the homer bay country yes i welcome you thank you yeah yeah so thank you so much that was rich rich uh, and uh, we also just wish to remind you that uh, I was checking through our YouTube and I realized that the, our uh, those who just watch but have not subscribed are just more than those who have already subscribed. So I wish to encourage you, you who is watching this video, that if you come across this video, please consider subscribing to our channel uh, as a means of helping us reach out, spread love, and also increase tree cover uh, to improve the ecosystem. So we are looking forward to just catching up with you in. Uh, in a lot more of our undertakings and we'll keep you posted and we will be part of this great journey of transforming societies from us joint hands green life trees we appreciate you uh till we catch up in our next video i'm called john bosco uh, for joint hands green life i wish you the very best bye bye <laughs>